They are among the most infamous home movies ever made. Right down Main Street and capturing an event that changed history. Now, witness these home movies as never before. It's never appeared with such clarity. Restored to a state more pristine than the day they were exposed to the Dallas sunshine of November 22, 1963. To see the Zapruder film with the highest clarity, film restoration experts make a high-definition scan using a rare 35-millimeter print from the National Archives. It's a very, um, very special opportunity for me to be looking at this. This is going to be the first time that anyone's ever seen the Zabruder film in high definition. Holland takes the new digital copy to Image Trends in Austin, Texas, where it undergoes state-of-the-art restoration and defect correction. One thing about these films is that we use such a fine resolution that nobody has seen images at this detail before. When the process is complete, the driver of the limousine appears with new clarity. Sure enough, he does turn around and face the president. But is there any sign of a gun or even a hand pointed at Kennedy? The enhanced Zapruder film helps refute one theory, that the president's driver was one of the shooters. But the Zapruder film has been used to support another theory, one not so easily dismissed. That bullet C, the deadly shot to the president's head, came from an area in front of him. It's a small incline off Dealey Plaza, known to conspiracy theorists everywhere as the Grassy Knoll. The Zapruder film has long been used to suggest that a shot came from the front of the president, knocking him back and to the left. But Zapruder's view of Daly Plaza doesn't include the grassy knoll. That distinction is held by two other home movies. Postal worker Mark Bell was standing on the opposite side of Daly Plaza from Abraham Zapruder, and his footage distinctly shows bystanders rushing the grassy knoll in the aftermath of the shooting. Orville Nix was standing near Mark Bell. His home movie captures even more, including the fatal moment when bullet C strikes the president. Nix was on the other side of where Zapruder was, but he has the grassy incline area and so a lot of conspiracy theorists use his film for that purpose, you know, to try and prove that there was a shot from the grassy knoll. Did bullet C come from the grassy knoll? 